Yo, 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 hey guys, it's poppin' Jacques Slade here, and as most of you know, the NBA season is coming up in just a few short weeks. As it happens in the past few years, Nike basketball gets most of their signature footwear out of the way for the year, and for this year, the most recent release came courtesy of LeBron James. Something that a lot of people don't think about is that when the new signature shoes release, the past generation of sneakers, which are just as good as the current generation in most cases, they, well, go on sale. I took a look at some of the best deals happening right now now and wanted to drop a few that I think are actually worth your time. However, before I hop into those, a special package showed up from my friends over at Titan that I thought you guys would really like, the Nike LeBron 16 Agimax. <laughs> Though it seems like it was a really long time ago, the LeBron 16 hasn't actually been out that long. The first pair that comes to mind for me is the Nike LeBron 16 Low Safari that was revealed right after All-Star Weekend, I believe. It was a continuation of the LeBron watch series that brought the current year sneaker and the old Nike styles together to create, uh, I guess like a modern take on what many would consider to be classic sneakers in the world of Nike. Now, tech-wise, the LeBron 16 Low kept most of the technology we saw in the LeBron 16 with the exception of the on it 2.0. The Max Air that was introduced in the LeBron 15 stayed around for the 16 and the 16 low, and really the only difference between the two signatures was some additional support and a few design tweaks on the Air unit with the zoom. On the flip side, the differences between the LeBron 16 and the LeBron 16 low are a little more obvious. For one, the low wasn't limited to just using Battle.net on the upper, which allowed Nike to play with it a little bit more. Take the Safari colorway for LeBron watch. It almost made the shoe look like a completely different sneaker. Though there were some collabs initially with the LeBron 16, the changes, whether you want to call them upgrades or not to the LeBron 16 low, really put it in a different ballpark in my opinion and set the shoe up for like every collab you wanted to see. Now, the LeBron 16 low Ajimat is the first official footwear collaboration from Titan in the Philippines and continues the story we saw back on the LeBron 14. The colorway and the design of the shoe takes inspiration from Filipino folklore and focuses around warriors that, quote, not only to excel in battle, but also lead past the field of combat and to their pinnacle of their kingdoms. Considering all the talk about LeBron being the king and the warrior themes thrown around in reference to LeBron shoes, it only makes sense that those two storylines would intersect on this shoe. The details of the design draw from the traditional armor of the Bagobu tribe, and that is where you get the shield, and they also have the lightning symbol, which symbolizes power, both representing a tie to LeBron and his strength as he heads into his 17th season. The details on this pair, they're actually done very well, and a lot of it is reflected on the box. The words that you see on the box are reflected on the heel of the shoe, one in a circle and one in straight lines. I tried to find out what some of the words mean, but I wasn't sure what they mean. I think it says, Maderigma sa Maderigma, which I think means soldier to soldier, Forget me, I know I probably am not pronouncing that right. In a sense, it's a way to respect someone on the battlefield, or in this case, on the court. Considering we have the LeBron soldier, it also makes sense. If you happen to know exactly what it means, why don't you feel free to leave me a note down in the comments below? I'm trying here, people. Now, on a purely surface level, I really like the mix of the blue and the gold and how they extend the colors with the speckles on the midsole. They also include some additional details on the inside of the tongue that I'm not sure what they mean exactly, with the exception of the M and L, which I believe means Manila, and then there's the three stars, which we believe stands for LeBron's trophies. Finally, the inside of the shoe features the shield on the insole in red to complete the whole gold, blue, and red look over the sneaker. That says Parasa Karakilian, which I roughly translate to mean for honor. Again, I don't speak Tagalog, so forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. Overall, the package is dope. I think the sneaker is dope and it shows that the love of basketball extends beyond the US borders. I've been able to travel to the Philippines and if you've seen any of the footage when players travel there, you'll see the love that they have for the game in that country is off the chain. If you want to cop these, they're available now on Nike.com. And speaking of that, let's look at some of the deals you can get right now on some basketball sneakers. So as I was saying at the beginning of this video, now is the perfect time to snatch up some good deals on basketball shoes. If you're a fan of LeBron, KD, Kobe, Kyrie, or PG, you probably aren't going to find better deals on Nike than what you can find right now. Let's take Kyrie for instance. The Kyrie 5, a really good basketball shoe, is priced at just $91 right now in certain colorways. I know as a kid, the magic number for my parents was $100. If I could first get them into a store, they would generally be nicer and probably buy 
buy me a pair of shoes if they were under $100 versus one that's priced at 120 or 130. You also have a couple colorways of the Kyrie Low 2. Those are down to like 83 bucks in certain colorways. And let's be honest, they look pretty good to balling if you like that low top look. All right, now switching over to Kevin Durant. We have one of the most comfortable basketball shoes out right now, the KD12. For this model, Nike switched out the traditional strobo board underfoot and replaced it with Zoom. And you feel the difference literally as soon as you put your foot into the shoe. Seriously, it's instant and you can feel it the whole time. They only have one colorway of these right now, but they're priced down to $105, which is a big drop considering they were $150 when they first released. All right, switching over to Jordan brand really quickly. They have a couple of pairs of less than a hundred bucks, but the pair that I think people are really going to want the most is the Why Not Zero Two. Westbrook played in these last year and I expect him to continue that in this NBA season. Right now, you can grab a pair of his signature shoes for $100. If it helps, they're technically $99.97. This is actually a special edition colorway, so it's nice to see that Hypebeast didn't grab all of these up for resale. And last but not least, we have a sneaker that hasn't been getting a ton of buzz, if any at all, the Nike Mamba Focus. A lot of attention when it comes to Kobe is his signature model, but I have a few friends that actually skip Kobe's top of the line model and have been playing in this takedown version and they're getting buckets, so I figured the shoes are pretty nice. This pair in particular started at $100 and they're now down to $75, which isn't bad at all when it comes to a good pair of basketball shoes. The color may not be the most hype we've ever seen, but you know, they'll do the job, especially if you like to get down outside. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a closer look at the Nike LeBron 16 Lil Agima, and I also noticed that there were some really good deals on basketball shoes over on the dot com and wanted to make sure you locked into those as well. As always, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you subscribe and all of that, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.